Hi, my name's Ben, and I would like to show you my latest project in my uh, front-end web development course at Udacity. And I had to create a classic arcade game, and it basically looks like this. I can use my left arrow key to go left, right arrow key to go right, and so on. And I basically have to get from the grass, past the cockroaches, into the water. And then once I'm in the water, I go back to the beginning and I can try again. These cockroaches are randomly randomized. When I collide with a cockroach, I get automatically sent back to the beginning and I have to start all over again. What was already given to me for this project was the game engine where these tiles are automatically generated and flattened like this. And then I also had resources and I had pictures. What I had to do was to be able to render the enemies, the, these cockroaches, and then the player onto the playing field. I also had to add collisions so that the user cannot exceed the tiles, so they cannot pass the borders. And the same with going all the way up top, there's a border length there too. I also had to create a, if a enemy collided with the player, that the player gets sent back to get to the beginning. In this project, I also had to implement the arrow keys to work and I had to get determine the length of the each tile for the user, for the character to move so that they move from tile to tile. And that's basically it. And now I'm going to show you the code. So here I have a variable of the class enemy, which has the following variables of x which is the x on the x-axis and the y on the y-axis. So basically zero is here, and I had to determine how far I could go with the character below here and to the end here. So it's actually, I start at zero x. The maximum is 405, and same with the y-axis, I start at zero, and the max is 405 as well the character cannot go underground for this game so this area here is ignored and it's actually a square so it's cool for the enemies i have speed as you can see they they run across randomly and then i also had these sprites or i call them cockroaches because they look nasty the next uh, function that i have is just the update of the enemy function first i declare that uh, on the x-axis, that speed is times by delta time. Delta time, all speeds are the same on all computers, all platforms. And then I open an if statement. If the enemy exceeds 510, because I do want to show that the enemy, when it's before it's regenerated, that it actually vanishes from the screen and then immediately reappears. So I have the max of 510 on the x-axis, which is probably about here. Same for the y-axis, so they appear from head first. And then I give them a start of the speed of 100, plus the, I use the shuffle function, which basically randomizes these enemy bugs by a multiple of 222. Now in this function right here, or this if statement, if the player um, touches, basically the, I've made the sprite, the length of the sprites and the player the same, width of 80 and a height of 50. If there's any collision between the player and the bug, then the player gets automatically reset to the beginning, which is right here. Then this function was also already given to me. This enables the enemy to render uh, through the engine into the game. I then had to create the player. Now the player only has two main variables, the x and y axis. The speed is not included here because it just depends on the speed of the user. And then I have the image of the character. I chose the character of Horn Girl. This function updates the character. And then I have the same as the enemy. Uh, function up there, but this time it's for the player to be rendered through the engine. I have the key press, which is the the keys that I press. So I have the left, right, up, and down. These are already determined for me beforehand in this function. Each tile is 102 
on the x-axis. Once the left key is pressed, it goes negative 102 on the x-axis. And it cannot exceed 0, which is the border on the left side. See, I cannot, even if I click, I cannot exceed the border. If I hit the right arrow key and I cannot exceed 405, which is the edge of the game for the user. Same with the Y axis to go up. There is, and you cannot exceed zero and you cannot exceed 405. And you will move up by 83. Finally, if the player reaches zero on the Y axis in this water area, there's a, a delay of 600 milliseconds and then they are automatically teleported back to the beginning, which is right here. So I'll just show you that. There you go. So there was a little break and then it automatically teleported me back to the beginning. All right, what I have next in the code is the empty variable of all the enemies, the variable or the array of three different enemies. The first enemy is located on the Y axis at 63, the second one at 147, and the last one at 230. For each function of the location of y, a new enemy is created at x equals zero at the location of y, which is this location here, and it starts at a speed of 200. So if I just restart the game, they all go together at a speed of 200. After that, the function above randomizes their speeds. And then I also have the variable of player which creates a new player at the location of 202 and by 405, which is right here. This function allows me to use the keys left, up, right, and down. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you later. And thank you very much.